guys, I am now more than halfway through my third year of medical school, which means now I have more medical school behind me than in front of me, which is just absolutely crazy. Like, I'm gonna be somebody's doctor soon. But after completing the majority of medical school at this point, I have come to realize that if you master one subject, one topic, that everything else in medical school becomes so much easier. And when you really focus on learning this to the best of your ability, it's like building a super strong foundation to a house that is your medical knowledge. You can build that home to an enormous size and keep adding layer after layer as long as your foundation is strong. But before we get to that, you know what I've been really missing as of late and you know something that I think would really help get this video off to a, a good start is some good old fashioned study B-roll. Sorry, I just felt like we hadn't had a good study session on this channel in a while, and I was missing it. <laughs> but in my humble opinion, the most valuable class in medical school by far is anatomy. Understanding the major structures and functions of the human body and how they relate to each other sets you up to truly understand what's going on when those structures become diseased or aren't operating how they were designed to. And some of you may be saying, of course, somebody interested in surgery is gonna say anatomy. But anatomy is at the root of every medical specialty. When an internist or family medicine practitioner prescribes a medication, they should know what parts of the body that that medication is going to interact with. A pathologist and radiologist literally focus their careers on the anatomy of the human body. One is just under a microscope and the other is with medical imaging. And of course, surgeons have to know in extreme detail the structures, orientations, and interactions of the organs and organ systems that they operate on. <laughs> so there are a few things that make anatomy particularly challenging and number one is that it's just so much material it's like literally material overload anatomy is not just memorizing the names of bones muscles and nerves even though that would probably be my favorite part of it and even if that was the case that would still be a whole lot of information there's a lot of stuff going on in the human body but beyond just knowing the structures you have to know how they function and why they operate the way that they do you have to know how and why one part of the body operates with the other, and you have to be able to understand why your cardiologist may not be best friends with your nephrologist. Cardiology? Nephrology? And outside of just the amount of material, anatomy can be challenging because it can be pretty tough to actually visualize the human body. But again, we have to be able to localize certain parts of the human body and know how they interact with each other. And I don't know if you've ever tried to visualize the human pelvis before, but it is not easy. Hunkari. Whoa, who is that? Who is that? Whoa, oh, yeah. You, you wanna learn eye anatomy? Yeah. Oh my. Oh, oh, okay, yep. Did you get me? All right, so we know that anatomy's, okay. Got the baby smudges, got the, this is, this is the baby smudge. Yep. All right, that's, that's, that's better. So we know that anatomy is hard, um, but there are definitely some things that we can do to make it easier and for us to really accelerate how well we can learn this material. And the number one thing that we can do is to utilize a resource that basically addresses the challenges that we mentioned and makes the learning process actually enjoyable. And that brings me to the kind sponsors of today's video, KinHub. KinHub is an online platform that combines multiple effective tools for learning anatomy, such as detailed articles, high quality atlas images and diagrams, and literally the best video library I have ever seen. Their content is organized into study units, so as you work through your school's curriculum, you can utilize the corresponding KinHub unit to master that specific topic. I literally don't know where I would have been without KinHub's unit on the brachial plexus. They also have a quiz feature that allows you to test your knowledge and make sure you know everything you're supposed to by test day. 
And as for me, as someone interested in orthopedic surgery, I love their muscle anatomy summary cheat sheets that have the origin, insertions, innervations, and functions of all the muscles. If you're interested in this premier resource for learning anatomy, check out the link in the description below and you'll get 10% off your subscription. And they also have tons of free content out there as well for you to check out and just see if you like it. I've been a pretty big proponent of KinHub over the years and I can't begin to emphasize enough how much KinHub has played a role in helping assist me in mastering this ever so important topic, anatomy. Now, outside of utilizing an incredibly helpful resource like KinHub, another thing that you can do to help you on your process of mastering anatomy is to maximize your time in the lab. Historically, students would spend hours upon hours in the anatomy lab participating in their own dissections. But now the lab is often just an optional supplement to the class. And yes, of course, this can save a lot of time for medical students, but you miss out on a lot of learning if you're not taking advantage of the lab. Not only does this help visualize the body, which we know can be challenging, but I'm willing to bet at the end of your anatomy class, there's going to be a practical. And usually these tests are on the same donors that you study on when you're in the lab. And so the better that you know those donors, the better you're gonna do on that test. So now as a third year medical student, I have gone through all of my pre-clerkship courses and half of my clinical rotations. And I've realized that everything from the pathophysiology in my pre-clerkship courses to having a good understanding of what's going on in the OR during my surgery rotation really depends on a good, solid understanding of anatomy. You'll learn details in the specific courses or blocks that you're in, but without an understanding of the general structures that you're studying, being able to zoom in on the details and the specific disease processes becomes almost impossible. So whether you're a pre-medical student or a medical student early in their career, if you wanna choose one topic to go all out on, choose anatomy because it's gonna make the rest of your medical career so much easier. That's all that I have for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope it can maybe give a little bit of motivation to give it all that you have in anatomy and really set yourself up for the rest of your medical school career. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want more details on what my surgery clerkship looked like, a rotation where you definitely need to know your anatomy, check out this video here. But until the next one, keep evolving and I'll see you guys soon.